hello so I will be reading um, from here to there and at the end I will ask you a few questions about the story so Jill and her dad were in a field near their house they were sitting on a grassy hill looking up at the stars the stars were so bright they looked like sparkling of diamonds Jill sighed she looked at her dad and said, I feel so small. Small, said her dad. There are a lot of things that are smaller than you and me. Do you know how small an atom is? Now that's small. How small is an atom, Jill asked. Well, look at the tip of your finger. Billions of atoms make up that fingertip, her dad explained. That's small, all right, Jill agreed, studying her fingertip. I'm big compared to an atom, but when I look up at the stars, I wonder how about my place in the universe. It's so big out there. Small things are part of bigger things, said her dad. You live in a house. You have a room in the house. So one part of your place is your room in our house. Are you with me so far? Yes, said Jill. She was not sure where this was going. Next, said her dad, your house is on Franklin Street. Franklin Street is in a neighborhood. The entire neighborhood is called Oak Hill. So you are from our house, which is number 345, and our street is Franklin Street, and our neighborhood, which is Oak Hill. But that's not all, Jill, said her dad. You know the birds that come to our feeder? You know the trees you climb on in the Jackson's yard? You know where your school, the library, the supermarket, and the fire station are? So your place is this neighborhood. I knew that, Dad, Jill said. But your place is more than just the neighborhood, said her dad. Your neighborhood is part of Summit County. People know this county because of the mountains here. So if you say you are from Summit County, people say, ah, she comes from the mountains. So that's my place, the mountains? Yes, said Jill's father, but there's more. You live in the state of Colorado. So you are from Summit County in the state of Colorado. Colorado is in a county called the United States. The United States is on the continent of North America, one of the seven continents. It's in a song, Jill said. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia. Don't forget Antarctica. Don't forget Australia. So you are from Colorado in the United States on the continent of North America, her dad said. I know what's next, Jill said. Eventually, this gets even bigger. I can say I'm from the planet Earth. Earth is a really big place. Yes, it is. Yet, yet, it's a small sphere spinning in space, said her dad. Big or small, it's our sphere, Jill said. Yes, her father said. You are a resident of the planet Earth. Jill asked, is there more? Yes, her father answered. That's still not the entire picture. Let's say you eventually go into space as you've always dreamed of doing. Your spacecraft will lift off and travel through the atmosphere. After you leave the atmosphere, you'll be in space. What will I see? Jill asked. You'll see the moon. You'll see other objects in space. What is in space? Jill wanted to know. Stars, comets, asteroids, planets, the sun. They all travel through space, Jill's dad said. But how do I belong to them, Jill asked. They are part of the solar system that Earth belongs to. In it, nine planets and other objects travel around the star that we call the sun. Doesn't everyone call it the sun, Jill asked? Not if you're in another solar system, dad, her dad said. Our sun and planets are in a galaxy called the Milky Way. There are 500,000 mi 500, million stars in the Milky, Milky Way. Is 
there more beyond that, Jill asked? The Milky Way is one of about 100,000 million galaxies. Jill's dad said, Earth is a part of the entire universe. Wow, Jill exclaimed. She was quiet for a moment. If we were heading homeward from one of those galaxies, it would take a while, wouldn't it? Oh yes, her father said, but right now let's head homeward ourselves. I know my place in the universe now, Jill said. It's big out there, isn't it? Yes, said her dad, but remember, you have a special place in this big universe. So that's the book. So here are some questions I want you to answer and you can write them down or you can just say them out loud. So question one, where were Jill and her dad in the beginning of the story um, when they were having this conversation? So where are they? Are they outside? Are they inside? And where are they if they're once you figure out where they're at? And why is Jill's dad trying to help fig help her figure out her place in the universe? Like, where did this conversation start from? Third question, what is the main idea of the story? So what's the purpose of this story? Number four, so why do you think Jill felt so small? Why does she feel so small compared to everything? Question five, how is Jill different at the end of the story from the way she's at the beginning of the story? So how is she different? What's different about her between those from the beginning to the end? What's different? And name one reason um, you are an important part of the universe. So why are you important compared to everything? So write them down or just talk to someone about it. Thank you.